All right, everyone, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to just get into the actual hardware that we're going to be using and why you're actually coming to the day. So we're going to be talking about the Makey Makey and what the uh, Makey Makey actually is. Um, so the two thinking methodologies that Makey Makey supports, obviously, are what we talked about previously, and that's design thinking and computational thinking. Um, I'm going to just play you the video uh, just so you can see firsthand what the Makey Makey actually is and what it does. There we go. So if it isn't clear from the video, what the real purpose of the Makey Makey is, is to convert everything into uh, an interactive environment. So it's essentially functions as an interactive controller, bringing things to life that otherwise wouldn't be possible. So according to the SAMR model, this is an extreme benefit um, because we're pushing that boundary and moving to redefinition stages that otherwise wouldn't have been possible. Um, so if we look at actually the board of the Makey Makey and what it looks like, it looks kind of like a retro Nintendo controller. If you see the directional arrow keys, you'll see uh, the ground wire, which is along the earth, which is by far and large the most important part on the hardware. So nothing will function without having something affixed to this ground wire. And this is critical uh, to teach your students about. So that's why I have the stars. You have to ground the connection in order for your program to work. So it's a great combination of how you tell your students about uh, circuits and the different type of circuits there are. So when you get a Makey Makey, each and every single kit and comes equipped with a Makey Makey board, a USB cable, seven alligator clips, six connector wires, instructions, some stickers, and um, those are the main things that you'll find within your kit. Um, one of the most important things um, I find to tell your students is just to make sure that everything gets back in because you really don't want to start losing things like your alligator clips. Um, not that that really happens a lot, but if it does, then you're making, you won't be able to really utilize your Makey Makey to the uh, full benefit. Okay, so how does this really work? So what you would do is you actually affix alligator clips and connect objects to the Makey Makey. So you simply pinch the clips and connect them into those little uh, portions back on the main board, which you see here. So you can see that there's two holes in each segment, and that's because one of the prongs of the alligator clips going to go in there. So you just pinch open and place them inside. So you can connect anything that conducts any type of electricity in order to make this work. So in the given example here, and you see the picture, Notice that this wire here from the bottom portion in the uh, individual's right hand is the ground wire. So by holding it in one hand, touching their skin, they're actually grounding themselves. Whereas with their other hand, and there's a wire uh, connected to the banana, according to the top portion, they are pressing that banana, which really represents a... Um, the up arrow on the Makey Makey. So when you touch a banana, you make a connection and the Makey Makey sends the computer a keyboard message. The computer just thinks Makey Makey is a regular keyboard or mouse. Therefore, it really acts as that interactive controller. So it works with all programs and web pages. Um, 
so basically really what I mean by that is you could technically type an essay using Makey Makey if you really wanted to using uh, Microsoft Word, Google Docs, whatever it is, you name it. Now here are some really good examples of what works in terms of consumables uh, with Makey Makey really well through my experience is Play-Doh is a great option, especially because it's viable at the dollar store, so you can get a lot of it for relatively cheap. Uh, students also like to use it a lot, and it doesn't really matter if they mix the colors, if they happen to. Um, one of the things I would point out with this, though, however, is to be careful not to use uh, clay, because some clays lack the necessary sodium in order to uh, generate a conductive charge. One of my personal favorite ones, and you'll see why when we get together uh, for the day, is to use copper tape. Copper tape is extremely conductive, it's easy, it can be affixed to anything, and there's an adhesive on the back so you can really affix it anywhere. Uh, water is another one, but it's messy, so be careful. Uh, any type of pencil in your classroom, so the graphite within there is conductive, uh, most fruit, and then tin foil. These are all great materials for ensuring that um, the Makey Makey works. So anything obviously that doesn't conduct any electricity would not be something that you would want to attach to the Makey Makey. So one of the best online platforms, um, or, and it, which is an open source website that works with Makey Makey, is Scratch. And I'm going to get into that in a little bit in the video, but I just wanted to show you that you can actually do a lot of great things with th uh, students that are probably already using this within your classroom, uh, or maker clubs, or STEM clubs, anything along those lines. So again, here's everything that you'll see in your kit. You've got your main board, your alligator clips, uh, your USB cable, and then just all your other instructions. Now, the one thing with the USB cable I'd mentioned as well, um, it's important to make sure that the devices that your students are using obviously have a USB port, because if not, they won't be able to use the Makey Makey. And I get people really excited sometimes. They go back to school and they sign out iPads, but then they realize when their students are there that they can't use the Makey Makey with the iPads. So just be uh, cognizant of that fact. Um, to make sure that whatever devices they're using uh, with the Makey Makey has a USB port. Okay, so now we would get into creating a, a piano um, and all these different things. And I'm going to actually do that with you live the day of. But for now, I just want to um, click on an app just to show you that there are a lot of pre-built apps available right now. So when we go through and I click on this site, it's going to take me to Makey Makey and there's all these different apps and games and you'll see some things that have Scratch in there and you can scroll down, there's Flappy Bird, but really you can create any game um, and it's not just limited to games and I'll show you how this relates to uh, pedagogy a little bit later on. Um, but anything that is web-based Makey Makey supports, which is the real power in here, is that you're not just limited to one uh, simple element. 